Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve sum based on minimization under the chapter assignment model under the subject operation research. Okay, now this is a video series on the chapter assignment model. This is the very first video that we are going to make. Uh, there will be multiple number of videos covering the end entire subject and the entire chapter okay so there will be around 15 to 20 videos or uh, alone on assignment model which will cover up different types of sums and multiple number of sums also so i hope everyone will view all the videos so that you know you won't have any difficulty in solving this particular chapter so now let us see how to solve the sum based on minimization we are going to take up first a very simple problem sum okay so this is problem sum number one Okay, now let us see how to solve the very first sum. The following matrix gives the cost of performing 4 jobs that is A, B, C and D by 4 contractors named as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have been given 4 jobs and the name of 4 contractors and the details of all the jobs and contractors. After that they are given us find an assignment of contractors to job so as to minimize the total cost now this question clearly says that we need to find the minimization of the total cost so now this assignment problem sum is based on minimization okay now there are various types of sum so this is one of them which is based on minimization so now let us see how to solve this sum keep in mind all the steps that i'm going to say okay so now let's start with step number one the first step will be based on whereby we'll have to create and find something called as row minimization so now this will be our first table okay so this is like your table one where we are going to find row minimization okay now row minimization let us see how to create this okay so what we are going to do is uh, with the help of the scale and a pencil we are going to uh, replicate you know the table which we have been given okay so we'll have like you know the headers we have the jobs and the contractors given to us okay, so i guess that's more than enough okay now for jobs we have a b c and d so we'll note down this as a b c and d and for contractors we had 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 okay now step number one in order to find or make this table of row minimization we have to find the lowest value in each row and subtract that value from all other elements from the same row okay so now row meaning all the contractors okay so we have four rows row number one row number two row number three row number four so we are going to find row minimization from each row so in the first row the minimum value check the which is the minimum value eight is the minimum value so we'll have to subtract eight from all the elements present in row number one so it will be eight minus eight which will be zero 22 minus 8 which will be 14 28 minus 8 which is 20 13 minus 8 which is 5 similarly now this was from row number one similarly from the second row in our second row the minimum value is 10 so it will be 14 minus 10 which is 4 20 minus 10 which is 10 26 minus 10 which is 16 and 10 minus 10 which is 0 Similarly, in the third row, the minimum value is again 8. So, it will be 10 minus 8, which is 2. 18 minus 8, 10. 30 minus 8 is 22. And 8 minus 8 is 0. Lastly, in the last row, the minimum value is 4. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. 24 minus 4 is 20. 32 minus 4 is 28. And lastly, 4 minus 4 is 0. Step number one, we had to find the row minimization. Now, step number two. In any in any kind of assignment sum, okay, the first two steps will mostly be the same, where we are finding minimization of cost. Okay. 
second will be column minimization so now we need column minimization again we will create so this is our step number one step number two so again we will create a similar structure okay again jobs may be had a b c and d so we write that as a b c and d and contractors may be had one two three and four now for column minimization okay again the similar pattern we need to find the smallest value from each column and subtract that from all the element in the subsequent column okay so we'll now in 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 our sum we have four columns column a column b column c and column d so in column a the lowest value so but not but we have to take it from the row minimization table okay so the lowest value in your column a is zero so zero minus all the values so zero minus zero is zero four minus zero is four two minus zero is two three minus zero is three now from the column b the lowest value is 10 so 14 minus 10 is 0 10 minus 10 sorry 14 minus 10 is 4 10 minus 10 0 again 10 minus 10 we have 0 okay this is 4 okay and lastly 20 minus 10 which is 10 in the third column the lowest value is 16 so it will be 20 minus 16 which is 4 16 minus 16 0 22 minus 16 will be 6 and 28 minus 16 is 12 in the last 0 is the lowest value so 5 minus 0 is 5 and then we have 0 0 and 0 okay so first step we need to find is the row minimization secondly column minimization now comes the most important part after column minimization whatever table has been created now from here we will have to start marking or you know start assigning the assignment now assignments are nothing but the number zero which will be present in the table we have to first start assigning zeros row in the form of rows and once we have completed the rows then we have to see from the point of view of column we always mark the assignment with a square symbol and we will mark those zeros or we'll assign those zeros in which the row in the entire row there are only one zero okay so now take this example in the very first row there is only one zero so we will assign that that is our first assignment first always we'll have to go row wise okay first we will always have to go row wise so in the first row there is one zero so we have assigned that in the second row now if you look carefully there are multiple zeros so i cannot we cannot assign it directly we will only assign those rows which have only one zero okay and then we will check the columns which have one zero and thereafter we'll have to see whether we can you know mark the others okay whatever is remaining so in the first row there was only one zero so we have assigned it in the second row there are three zeros so we cannot choose which one is there so we leave it for right now in the third row again i can see there is one zero and another zero so again i cannot mark it okay so we jump to the next row in the fourth row i can see one zero so we will mark that now remember the moment you mark and assign a zero in the cross format okay that is the you know the vertical as well as horizontal whichever zeros will be present they will all be marked crossed for example now in the in the fourth one when we mark the zero whatever corresponding rows have zeros and columns which have zeros they all will get crossed out so we can't use that basically okay so chalo, we checked all the four rows the four rows are done now we jump come to the column Y. in column a there is only one and we have already assigned it so we jump to the second in the second column there are two zeros i can't choose any one of them right now so we jump to the next 
in column C there's only one zero so we will assign that the moment I assign a zero okay in the horizontal and vertical of that zero all the zeros will be other zeros will be crossed out so in the vertical form in the horizontal form you know the zero gets cut out so now in the first row there is one zero second row there is one third row may there is one alone zero remaining we will assign that also and fourth row also has one zero so now here if you look carefully there are you know four assigned values four assignments and this matrix table is also four by four okay so i'll write here the number of assignment the number of assignment is equal to 4 and the matrix size is also equals to 4 okay it's so a 4 by 4 matrix and we have found the 4 assignment in one row there can only be one assignment similarly in one column there can only be that one particular assignment okay so since the assigned number of assignment matches the size of matrix size Therefore, we can say that the solution is optimal. Therefore, the optimum assignment is. Now, let us check what all values have we selected. So, in the first row, in the first row, we have selected job A. So, like the first contractor has selected job A. And the value for which is, so check here, 1A ka value in our question is 8. So, that comes to 8. For the second contractor, the second contractor, ke liye the best assigned value is C. Okay, so the C value for the second one is 26. For the third contractor, the optimum or the assigned value is B. The value of 3B is 18. And lastly, the for the fourth contractor, the assigned value is D. So 4D ka value is 4. That's it. We add up all the values that we have found. So 8 plus 26 plus 18 plus 4 turns out to be rupee uh, turns out to be 56 in total therefore a final answer the total minimum cost equals to rupees 56 this is how the sum based on minimization whereby we have a simple problem sum okay this is how it has to be solved Okay, first step we had to find the row minimization, second column minimization. Thereafter, we need to start assigning the zeros row form where the row has only one single zero. Thereafter, you know, the moment you marked any zero, all the vertical and horizontal uh, zeros containing zeros will get all crossed out. At the end, we have to check whether the number of assignment match the matrix size. If yes, that is our optimum solution. Okay. If they do not match, okay, now that's some we'll be doing uh, in our uh, upcoming videos. What if the optimum uh, level is not reached on the first table that we have created? Then there are some other steps that we need to follow in order to continue the sum and get your final optimum assignment. Once you get an optimum solution, okay, whatever values have been assigned, we need to note down and the total of that will give you a final answer. This is how you had to solve some based on assignment model whereby they have given us to solve and find the minimum cost. I hope everyone have understood this. Okay. Now there are many videos which will be based on assignment model topic whereby we are going to cover up a lot of different types. Okay. The videos can be ranging to anything between 15 to 20 okay so 15 to 20 sums we'll be solving which will cover up each and every type of sum 
okay and with viewing all those videos and solving those sum i guess the entire topic will be thoroughly done by each and every one of you okay chalo with that we will be ending this video i hope everyone have understood this stay tuned for other videos which will be covering up few more uh, different types of sum based on assignment with that we'll be ending this video here thank you so much